So what if we allow this power of divine love to be consistently known as that which fully empowers all human consciousness? Then we're lifted into a much higher consciousness, which might be called the mind of God. And that highest consciousness pours forth as radiance into our worlds. Over the centuries, that radiance has often been called a person's aura. Or if you look at the full extent of a person's electrical radiant emissions, we might call that their auric field, as David Karshir did in his recent excellent interview. If you look at that auric field around the sun, it's called a corona. So we each have a protective and generative true corona or auric field. And if you think about it, when you have several individual auras, you have something like an aurora, which we might call our aura, our collective aura. So we can be multiple lights or an aurora in the heavens, which provide a larger charged field of streaming light. Our auras create an auric field, which can provide a much needed boost to the immune system of humanity. One which needs a strong infusion of consciousness from the mind of God, a collective corona of sun consciousness is more powerful than any virus or vaccine. What does that all mean for me personally? Well, ethically, I have the responsibility and the opportunity to, as it has been said, let your thoughts be my thoughts of a divine nature. And let my thinking be a blessing to morphic fields yet to come. I must strengthen and extend my own auric field. Since, as David Karshir articulated, thinking is a spiritual practice, then my thinking can be a spiritual discipline, which is filled with elevated praise and thanksgiving, and which sees the best in those around me. My thinking can provide the fresh, creative, and original substance which makes all things new, which brings that power of love to the world. That love-driven thinking way, when fully aligned with the spirit coming through right now, can be part of the dominion of spirit and the ordering power of divine consciousness to restore the crown to the head and the head to the body of a very distressed humanity, to bring regeneration and restoration such that we'll never walk alone. So may this be.